Hello, educators out there. Uh, my name is Adi Damola Israel Olofo. I am the lead consultant for Edinoms Consulting Nigeria and um, just want to drop some tips in preparation for the forthcoming session. Yeah, session that is a 2004 2005 academic session. Um, you know, as a school, there are things we need to do proactively in preparation for the uh, next session 2024-2025 I just want to drop uh, some of them here uh, this uh, uh, this uh, video is going to be in series I'll take this to be I'll take this one to be the first series of this video and I'll be sharing with all educators school and school leaders and teachers on um, how to prepare for the forthcoming 2004 2005 academic session. Uh, let me clear to mind some of the things we'll be discussing. The first thing every school needs to do is uh, on what's called curriculum review. Number one, curriculum review. Curriculum review has to do with two things. Two things. Number one, check the curriculum that you run, either purely Nigerian or Nigerian British or Nigerian Canadian or Montessori, whatever it's not, and check. If is working well, compare the teachers that you have in your school. All right. So that's the one thing to do. That is the first thing to do on the curriculum review. Second thing to do on the curriculum review is to go for the scheme of work and check if your if your scheme of work is quality enough. There are a lot of qualities to check of in your scheme of work. Very important. The scheme of work is very important to a school. If your school is going to be good, okay or it's going to be just be shaking or shaky. All right. So what to check in the, I'll be talking about that one more on that one very soon. Uh, the next thing to do about uh, preparing for next session is to check the quality of your teachers. Okay, you need to train the teachers that are on ground or yes, to train them, to upgrade them, to meet the demands in the teaching delivery. Yeah, so you need to take care of the teachers by training them you also need to assess your teachers. I've been to some schools during this uh, session that is running up, and I realized that some teachers are not having mastery of subjects that they teach. All right? So you need to check your own. If your teacher, if your teacher is in your school and is not having mastery of your subject, it's going to lower your academic standard. So you need to check. You need to do two things for teachers in preparation for the next, next uh, academic session. I've told us the two things to do. And the next thing to do to prepare is your budget, your budget for the new session. By now, the budget should be should be prepared, should be uh, in full swing by now. I'll be talking more on each of these three, all right? And um, um, yeah, okay. One more thing is feedback mechanism in preparation for the next academic session. Feedback mechanism. I'll be discussing this uh, all these uh, four in detail uh, in subsequent videos. So I want you to share this video. I want you to like this video and share it. Uh, use on Facebook. Follow our page on Facebook. And also follow me as a person. I did them on Israel Olofa. Our Facebook page is uh, Edunoms Consulting. That's our Facebook page. But my account is by my name. And then if you are watching this video on YouTube, what you need to do is to just uh, subscribe to our channel. Now let's pick one of these things that one of these uh, preparation for uh, the incoming session that uh, I just mentioned, and that is, uh, and that is, um, or what we call uh, curriculum review. And from what I said about curriculum review, it's about um, two things, as I said earlier, checking if the curriculum you are running, you have teachers to. Uh, uh, implement and internalize it. Um, check your curriculum, the one you, abs the, uh, the one you adopt, if it's Montessori or British, or Nigerian British, Nigerian Montessori, or purely Nigerian, or Nigerian Canadian, whatever, or IPC, whatever, that you have uh, adopted. If you have teachers capable of running that curriculum, okay, I don't know whether your school is, is a uh, British based, British curriculum based, or Montessori curriculum based, or IPC based. 
if you don't have teachers to run that, okay? Especially there are, for Montessori teachers, they're very scarce nowadays, all right? Good ones, not by name, you know, but by, by practice and by delivery. So if you know that uh, your school is Montessori and then you have house courses of Montessori teachers in that environment, you can change to British, I think to IBT, I, IPC, you can use uh, Cambridge, you can use Oxford AQA, you can use a uh, Pearson and Excel, if teachers are available for that. So on trying to work on your curriculum against next session, check if your teachers are able to deliver uh, the kind of curriculum you run. If you're not able to deliver, you can you can train them, get people get people who can handle it. Uh, do it maybe you may end up paying higher, but it's better for you. It has less headache and higher productivity. So if you, if you can't get the, those one who are highly skilled that skillful there, they train them. Train them. Training helps a lot. So train these teachers that you have. And then uh, if you can't you don't have people to if you have people to train, then I advise that you change your curriculum. Here in Nigeria or change from Sorry to Cambridge or Cambridge to Oxford or uh, Oxford to IPC and so on and so forth. All right, that's my advice. And the last thing to do on the um, when working on your curriculum against the next academic session is to go and revise your scheme of work. From my experience of moving around, I realized that some scheme of work they are so lame. Oh my God, they are so lame that they need to be reviewed. I was in the school and I was going through the ICT uh, subject uh, scheme for year seven. And I saw week one, what's a computer? Week two, parts of a computer for year seven, for JS1. Week three, computer peripherals. Week four, the nation of computers. Week five, printer. Imagine, all those topics I mentioned that goes from week one to week five now. They know more than what somebody will run in just in one and a half weeks or just one week. The first four, I'll finish it in one week. That's how it should be. So most time when I get to that, teacher, that school, I wish that teacher relaxes. So, oh, relax. I was wondering what should, what should it be. Actually, I saw that that's it. Because he's just, just go to the class, just a little bit, and then teach small. Because that is a 10 minutes delivery. What's a computer is a, is two minutes. What's a computer is a, is a two minute delivery. Well, after the computer is, is about five minutes delivery, okay. I don't have to do everything from week one to four, it's just about one week job. But and uh, another school that I went to somewhere in Logan State, it was the it was the science that I discovered that it's so 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 lame like that too. So I have to help them to adjust by helping them to review their scheme of work. So you need to review your scheme of work and check for consistency. Okay? Consistency and productivity level of your scheme of work. However, there are also some schemes that are overloaded and overcrowded. You need to go and check your own. Do a benchmarking. Check for another school scheme of work and see if it's yours. If yours is not too overloaded. If it's too overloaded, may end up not being thoroughly delivered. And it always affects children and teacher in their final year. These are the two things. These are the one thing that I'll be sharing with us among the four things on how to prepare for the forthcoming academic session. I hope uh, you found something useful there. If you do, don't forget, like this video, share it with your friends, with your colleagues, okay, professional colleagues, and then follow me or subscribe to my channel so that when I post uh, uh, the next video that will treat the meaning three ways to prepare for the fourth session, you will be able to get a notification on your phone. Once again, I'm Anita Mola Israel of the lead for Genomes Consulting. So I come your way again. Keep working, rest well. Thank you very much.